So on this one, it might be a little bit harder to kind of realize um, you know, what exactly square number goes and divides into this. So what I would just tell you is if you check each one going from the largest to largest number possible in there. And we can look at some square roots. I'm pretty sure in this class we're not going to be doing anything that's going to be larger than 15 uh, squared. So AJ, when you're looking at this, what I would do is I would just see which of these numbers, which is starting with the largest, is going to evenly divide into 343. And literally just take your calculator and you can say 343 divided by 225. 343 divided by 196. 343 divided by 169. When you have a large number like this, it might not be as apparent of a what exactly is your going to be your square number. But as you guys keep on going to that, what we see is we have a solution at 49, which I can rewrite this as square root of 49 times 7. All right. Does that make sense how you can rewrite the exact same number just as a product? I'm not changing the answer. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Then what's nice about this is now I can take the square root of one of these numbers. Because this is a square number. That's 49, square root of 49, which I can take the square root of, which is 7 times the square root of 7. Now what I'd like you to do is check in your calculator. Just type in the square root of 343. Then type in your calculator the square root of 7 times 7. And guess what? They're the exact same thing. All right? However, this is what we call simplified, and this would be not simplified. However, their number value is exactly the same. Yes? How do you know which number to put on the outside and which one to put on the outside? I'm not putting a number on the outside. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the square root of 49. Mm -hmm. The square root of 49 is 7. I can't take the square root of 7. Yeah. It's not, square root of 7 is not up here. So I can't take the square root to get an even integer. So therefore, it stays under the radical. Does that make sense? Yeah. 